The other way that we can think about factorizing trinomials is, like, if, I, if I look at this example here, the expansion, right? I know if I expand this out, I'm going to get x squared plus 5x plus 6. The goal of this factorization, remember, when I'm talking about factorization, I want to see what's in common, and then I want to introduce brackets somewhere. And it's very really obvious when I have this expression, if I was to factorize it, I would go back to this one, right? Because expansion and factorization, they're just kind of like opposite operations in a sense, right? Harry, can you tell me, if you look at this expression here, what do you see that's in common? Yeah, but it's not across the whole expression, is it, right? And so, in, initially, it seems like that's a problem. It seems like we can't factorize it. Rather, it's actually an opportunity. Anytime you see a trinomial, and you're trying to factorize it, you're trying to introduce brackets again, I want you to think about this method, and it's called PSF, okay? It's a little uh, mnemonic, and what it stands for is product sum factors. Anytime you see a trinomial and you want to try and factorize it, you want to try and go back to these brackets, I want you to think about PSF, product, sum, and factors. What does this actually mean? Okay, let's just use this one as an example. I already know how this is going to factorize, but the way I go about it is I think about what is the product of the last term here? Well, in this case, I want the product of two numbers where the product is six, and I want two numbers where the sum is that middle term, which is five, okay? Now, pretend I didn't know what it, the factorization was already. One thing you might do is you might go through all the factors of six and just check through, right? You could say, okay, what num two numbers multiply to six? Mick, can you give me a pair? Two and three, that's, that is one. And that's the right one. Well, let's have another one. Uh, ben, another two numbers that multiply to six. One and six, right? Yeah. Okay. One and six. And then we can we can check. Okay, these are all the factors of six. Which ones add to five? Well, only two and three are going to work. So those are my two factors, two and three. And then all I have to do, all I have to do is put them back into those brackets. Then, right? Can you see that? This is the framework I'm going to use any time I'm trying to factorize a trinomial. Any time I see an expression with these three terms here, and I want to put them back into brackets, I'm always going to think about this PSF method. Let me just show you a couple more examples, and then um, I'll let you try some yourselves, okay? So let's, let's look at this first one. I'm taking PSF. Now, my recommendation is, initially, um, you'll get faster with this over time, but initially, one thing that might be helpful is to just write all the factors of that number, right? So the product of 12 is what I'm looking for in that first case. And then I want to think all the numbers that multiply to 12. So I've got 1 and 12, 2 and 6, 3 and 4. Okay. I would then to sum to 8, and I go back to my factors and say, which one, which one of these sums to 8? 2 and 6. This, these are the ones that I want. Okay. So my factors then are going to be 2 and 6. All I have to do then is I go back to my expression. To factorize it, I'm introduce, each introducing brackets or introducing a pair of brackets, okay? So I'll have x plus 2 and x plus 6. And then that's it. Can you see how much easier this um, little mnemonic helps you, right? You don't have to overthink anything. The goal is always to introduce a pair of brackets. A pair of brackets. And the best way to do it is to really use this method, okay? You think about what two numbers multiply to this last number and add to that middle number and then those are your two factors that you want. Let's have a look at this next one. Um, Lucas, can you help me out? I want my numbers to multiply to what number? 20. 20? And Kyle, I want them to sum to which number? Nine, Nine the ones in the middle. And again, I'm just gonna write out my factors. So I've got one and 20, two, 10, four, five, I think that's it. Okay. Um, Holly, which one do you think I'll pick? I want the two numbers to multiply to the 20, which they all do. But I want them to add to 9. 4, 5, right? That's it. Um, let's go through this. My two factors are going to be x plus 4, x plus 5. Let me just show you two more examples. Two more examples. Because there's, one more, there's a few things I need you to pay particular attention to. So far, 
all of these factors have actually been positive numbers. So that actually makes it really easy for us. The way they make it harder is that you'll look and you'll start introducing negatives. Okay, and that may make it a bit trickier. Okay, but we still want to think about two numbers that multiply to the last one and sum to the middle. So I'm still going to write my PSF acronym. Okay. And I know that I want them to multiply to 25 and I want them to add to, okay, minus 10. Now I'm going to be careful there. I'm going to write out my factors of 25. I've got 1 and 25 and like 5 and 5. But none of them would add to minus 10 though. Introduce some minuses. Yeah, okay. So if I want them to sum to a negative number, I obviously have to introduce negative numbers. Okay? And so in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, actually, if I want them to add to minus 10, what if I make both of these negative, right? Because if I make them both negative, they will still multiply to positive 25, because a negative times a negative is a positive number, okay? So my factors are both going to be negative 5 and negative 5, okay? So I go back, and I'm, I'm always thinking about introducing those pairs of brackets, okay? So in this case, my factors are going to be x minus 5, and x minus 5 there, okay? So you see how we can introduce negative numbers into these factors here, okay? Alright, last example, I'm going to get someone to help me out with this one. Don't give away the answer here, Rips. Um, Angus, what do I want my numbers to multiply to? 1 minus 20. Minus 20? I want them to sum to 1. Anyone got an idea what I need? Uh, Emily, yeah? 5 yeah, 5 and negative 4, right? And just to check, yep, 5 plus minus 4 gives me positive 1. Multiplied together, I get negative 20. If you're still feeling a bit not uh, unsure of how to get those factors, I would just write out that whole list of factors like I was doing before. Okay? As you get faster and faster, you may not even need to write PSF anymore. You can just think about it inside your head. But writing out initially can help you out to answer those questions. Okay? And then that's all you need to do. I've got my factors. That's x plus 5, x minus 4. And as always, Think about how we can check this. If I just expand it out again, I want to get back to the same expression. And for all of these, you do. Okay. So the order of how, like, you can switch x plus 4, x minus 4. Yeah, that's a good point, right? It doesn't matter if you write x minus 4, x plus 5, because the order of operations and multiplication, if you have 3 times 5, that's the same as 5 times 3. So it wouldn't really matter. Yeah. Good question.